Welcome back to the Infamous Project, guys. I am over at Atomic Auto Spa, where I had the 1990 low mile notch, fully detailed. When I say fully detailed, I mean fully detailed. They even broke out the dry ice on the underside of this thing, and we'll be showing you guys some of the results. This is the ultimate follow-up video on this car, since the original titled Always Bring a Trailer. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, make sure that you do because I go into detail on how I actually had made a deal for this car. And then I lost the deal on the car. Why? Because I didn't bring a trailer. The guy sent me my money back and it took a number of years before, not only a number of years, a price increase in order for me to be able to get my hands on this car. So with that said, the car needed a little bit of a facelift and needed to get the attention to detail on it to really represent what this car in fact is. I do want to show you guys a little bit of, let's say, the oil to the vinegar right here. And there's the man behind this whole ordeal, Justin Timmings. Hey. How's it going, man? Good, how you doing? Good. Tell nice. us about the spa real quick. Um, yeah, we do uh, uh, everything here from uh, dry icing, um, extracting, steam cleaning, paint correction, ceramic, PPF, tint, the whole nine yards. All of it. All of it. Yeah. yeah. Normally there's a bunch of exotics hiding in here. Yeah, Where are they all hiding? <laughs> they are. A beautiful oh. orange Technica next door. Oh, really? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, Justin likes his American muscle. We'll put it that way. And he is also the owner of Project Black Notch at my shop. Yeah. So for any of you guys that have been following along in that beautiful low mile original black notch that's all ripped apart and Prestige uh, Motors actually built his new 363 YSI blown, what did it make? 800 and... 818. 818. Yeah. So we're waiting on delivery. However, projects snowball and escalate quickly. And when you have time waiting on motors, you should send Prestige the bill. As you should. I agree. You know, you guys took so long that, you know, now Justin's going to go and spend a whole bunch of more money in other places. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful car. Isn't that how that works? Yeah, it is. Awesome. So let's get back into this car right here, guys. And like I said, I have known about this car for a number of years now. And it is originally from Canada. It is an original five-speed, 5.0. 1990 LX notch with limited options. I know I messed that up in the last video and that's sort of what happens when you've gone through so many cars and I didn't have the car in front of me when I was talking about it, it was still in Canada. So Canadian cars are a little bit different. There's a few little differences on these things. Not only does it have AC, but it also has cruise control and power mirrors with premium sound. So that means it actually has door speakers and it would have the three and a halfs and the power mirrors is a nice touch. However, this car does not have power door locks or power windows. Doors open and close, very nice, very tight. Being a Canadian car, it also has the factory gravel guard down along the bottom side of the moldings and goes from here to behind the front tire and all the way down along the rocker panel down there. In addition, you will notice some French. Being in Canada, bilingual country, all of the compliance labels, safety labels, everything else are actually bilingual. So even here, our airbag, we can see we got English on this side and we got French on that side. Sticker calibration stickers, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna do a pretty in-depth cinematic of the car, going all the way around it, showing you guys things like the door jams and underneath the hood and things like the quarter molding trim and everything that makes this car so clean and so unique.
Unique, maybe not, but unique in the sense that you don't find these cars in this condition every single day. You really don't. So being a single stage car, the car needed some buffing and some attention. And when the paint got buffed, we managed to do some paint depth measuring because some skeletons actually came out of the closet on this car after I had acquired it. Now, the owner that I got the car from was aware of the fact that this door had been repainted at some point in its life. And the giveaway was the pinstripe. So the pinstripe actually looks a little bit different, even on this quarter panel, compared to the driver's side over here. And you would have to be really looking for that in order to see the difference, but it's there. Now, all of the original VIN stickers are on the panels. Everything is as it should be. So components were not replaced and we just could not figure out why this car saw some paint on the passenger side. So an individual actually reached out to me via Facebook and he said, hey, did that car come from such and such area up in Canada? And I was like, yes, it did. And he's like, well, you know, I tried to buy that car off of the original owner. And the original owner refused to admit that the car had some paintwork. And he had noticed the same things that I had just pointed out to you. And ultimately, he passed on the car. And he said, I think there was maybe only 8,000 original miles in the car at that point. So he later caught wind of a story from somebody that he knew that knew of this car and saw this car go down a local drag strip back when it was literally probably fresh off the lot. And the individual, I guess, lost control of the 225 horsepower that this car makes. And he slightly grazed this side. So he knocked the mirror off. So the mirror was actually a shinier color. That was another giveaway. Um, I have painted this with SEM trim black to get it to the right color, feel, shade, look, and everything else. And I guess it just kind of scraped a little bit on this passenger side door. And I don't know if the quarter panel had any scraping or anything on it. I was just told that he lightly grazed the side and maybe it was just the mirror. So no panels were replaced. The paintwork is absolutely gorgeous and phenomenal. The only little tidbits of, I guess, paint defects is there's one right here and something just kind of hit it with a sharp corner right there. And then there's this little bit here, which I think I had in the original video and that has been touched up, but everything else guys is super, super nice. It's super, super clean. Whoever did the paintwork did a fabulous job. And I feel like paintwork back in the day, cause you gotta remember this would have been early nineties. The car would have been brand new. And of course nothing was ever reported or gone through insurance because this mishap happened at the track. And the owner was probably embarrassed that it even happened because he denied it. He denied it to the first guy and then he denied that there was ever any paintwork done to the gentleman that ultimately I bought the car off of. So the owner was good at sticking to his story. The reality is if I hadn't have pointed this stuff out, nine out of 10 people probably never would have noticed. But when you find out details like that, in fact, the paint gauge showed that the hood was also resprayed. So whether there was some stone chips or maybe there was some other random marks, who knows, the hood has also been resprayed. All of the other panels are all original, except for, like I said, what happened on the passenger side over there. So I do have all the paint depth readings and everything else that I can share with anyone because ultimately guys, this car is for sale. This car is just so clean. And underneath now, after doing the dry ice treatment, I don't think I've ever seen an H pipe this clean before in my life. Probably because I've never really run a factory H pipe. But with that said, it's minty. The whole underside of the car, there is no rust. There's no rust in the door jams. There's no rust 
in the spare tire well. There's no rust hiding up underneath here in the rear corners. The frame rails are solid. There's nothing on the lower radiator support. I assure you guys, this car is the real deal when it comes to a rust-free low mile notch. So this car is hovering around 14,000 original miles, which are actually displayed in kilometers. Again, a Canadian car, therefore kilometers are the measuring tool or the measuring style of choice. So it is right at 23,132 kilometers. All of the gauges work, all the lights work, the radio works. All right guys, here we are. We are in normal city style traffic, putting some miles slash kilometers on the ultra low mile notch here. And everything working as it should, no check engine lights, even the airbag light isn't on. So the module has not failed yet. Might be a matter of time. That stock shifter, you can hear the little bit of the roar of the Flowmaster exhaust. Car drives really nice. The only modification done to this car, aside from tires ultimately being changed, is a Flowmaster catback. The original catback is still available with the car. It actually was removed in one piece. It wasn't cut. It was removed properly. And that thing is like a showpiece that looks brand new. This car also has all of the original spark plugs, air filter, anything that has come off to be done from a maintenance perspective is in a box in the trunk. The Marty report comes with the car. Everything is intact. Two sets of keys with the original Ford dealer keychain ring that came with it and everything that you would expect with an ultra low mile notch. So that is the story on this car. A little bit of the history and no Fox body Mustang is perfect at the end of the day. It really isn't. And you know what? If nobody had come forward about that story, you know, at the drag strip and the passenger side, the reality is Things happen at the dealership all the time and paintwork is done on brand new vehicles where owners, new owners would never even know. They honestly wouldn't. And that happens right up until today, whether a bumper accidentally gets hit in a lot, maybe it gets caught on something during, or hits another car during transport because they're not tied down properly. There are so many different factors that you would just never possibly know. So I have gone through the car best that I can with my knowledge and my experience of these things to try and give the most accurate and honest description about this thing. And if you guys have any questions, you wanna see anything in particular or pictures, please feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, if this car does not sell, it is ultimately destined for bring a trailer, maybe even Barrett Jackson, who knows, but it is just too clean and too original for me. I am a modifier. I like to tinker with things. I can't leave stuff alone. And this is just one example of a car that I just, I can't cut up. So it's one of those things. Be careful what you wish for. I wanted this car in the worst way. I wanted to have that low mile original notch in my collection. And I finally ended up getting it just to find out that, hey, it makes cool content. It's cool to have a story. It's cool to say that I owned it, but in reality, it's time to move on and allow me to continue what I do, which is modify Fox bodies. So thank you again for your support. Again, if you have any questions, reach out info at the infamous project.com till next time. We'll see you then. So the car's got LX cloth. It does not have the sport seats also known as tweed. And I have to say, if you're just cruising around or you're going on a road trip, Nothing beats LF, LX cloth seats, guys. They are just so comfortable that, you know what I mean? You could just drive for hours in one of these. And this car is smooth. You know, it's quiet inside the cabin in here. I'm sure you guys can hear me quite well on the camera considering that we're driving a Fox body. Normally I'm like vibrating around, maybe bouncing because the car is so low on stiff suspension and everything else. But, and this is not the case. This is a, beautiful little driver driving stock as it should and
turn signals work, car idles perfect, coming to a stoplight, and what more could you ask for?